Top five most negotiable cars, trucks, SUVs, and luxury vehicles as we head into the end of 2024, Dad. This is the best time to be in the market to buy a new car. It's when the biggest incentives are in, at play and in hand. And so let's run people through the market day's supply, the information they need to know to understand which vehicles are the most negotiable. How's that sound? Sounds good to me. I think we should get started. All right, let's start with SUVs, Dad. We've got five SUVs that if you're in the market for an SUV, you need to be thinking about these five as the most negotiable. These are the ones that you can get the biggest discount from the dealer and also have some pretty big incentives. We'll kick it off, Dad, with a Jeep Grand Wagoneer. If you're in the market for a $100,000 SUV, well, look no further than the Jeep Grand Wagoneer, a 275 day uh, days supply. That means it would take 275 days to sell the 2,587 that are currently on dealer lots, of which 23% of them are still model year 2023s. No wonder Jeep is offering 0% financing for 36 months and 3.9% financing for 72 months. Huge discounts to be had on the Jeep Grand Wagoneer. Um, yes, I would think those would probably be the biggest discounts you'll see on any type of Stellantis product uh, through the remainder of this year. Just an incredible incredible opportunity for savings. Yeah, absolutely. Now, Dad, a much more reasonable price point. We've got the Ford Escape with 160 days supply of inventory. There's almost 53,000 of them for sale nationwide right now, of which 2% are still new model year 2023 options. Less than 15,000 have sold in the last 45 days at a $33,000 average transaction price with 1.9% financing for up to 60 months and a big $4,000 trade-in credit, plus some lease incentives. Like The Ford Escape's looking like a really great option for people that are at a much more reasonable budget for an SUV. Absolutely. If you're if you're looking for a reasonably priced SUV and you don't want to burden yourself with an excessive payment, the Escape could be the way to go. Big dealer discount, big incentives. The Dodge Durango is another one that made our list at 152 days supply. 5% of those that are still for sale are model year 2023s. So again, I'm calling out the 2023s because that's where you can get the biggest discounts and you can negotiate the hardest with the dealer. $53,000, $54,000 transaction price, so a little pricier. But you've got an incentive of up to $6,000 from Stellantis. That's on top of, obviously, all of the great negotiating you're going to do at the dealership. And there's a lease incentive and a lease special that gets your payment all the way down to under $400 a month. So there's some big incentives here on the Durango and obviously an oversupply. And if you want a big ass hauler, that Durango is it. We happened to rent one when we were in Puerto Rico this year, and it really was quite the vehicle. I wouldn't go that far, but yeah, it worked. <laughs> now we've got uh, the Kia Sorento. The Kia Sorento has 134 days supply, 0% financing up to 48 months and a $41,000 price point. And the Nissan Pathfinder, 114 days supply, 0% financing up to 36 months. And that's stackable with a $1,500 cash discount as well. So these are your SUVs that if you're in the market, end of 2024, it's the best time. Go to caredge.com and get all the resources. These are the ones you can negotiate the most on and, and you know, obviously have really strong incentives as well. Shall we jump into cars, Pops? Absolutely. All right, we've got the top five cars you should be thinking about at the end of 2024. We'll start with an electric vehicle, the Hyundai Ioniq 6, a 269 days supply, Dad. There are over 6,000 of these for sale nationwide, yet only 1,000, almost 1,100 have sold in the last 45 days. 0% financing for up to 48 months. And there's a cash incentive up to $7,500. The lease specials are insane. You got to put some money down, but your payment can be under 200 bucks a month for 24 months. The Hyundai Ioniq 6 coming in at number one on our top five new cars to be looking at between now and the end of the year if you're looking for the biggest negotiability or best negotiability and biggest discounts. And if you don't want to put all that money down, just remember the money you don't put down impacts your lease payment by about $30 a month. So if you don't mind a slightly higher payment, you keep the money in the bank. We've got the Alfa Romeo Giulia, Dad. 210 days supply. Only 216 have sold in the last 45 days, yet dealers have over 1,000 of them on their lots. No huge APR incentives or anything like that, but a big negotiability opportunity with how slowly they are selling. The Mazda Mazda 3. Mazda sales have been through the roof. However, the Mazda 3 has been one of those vehicles that's been stacking up on dealer lots. 132 days supply. Nearly 12,000 of these. 11,389 for sale nationwide. 3,900 have sold in the last 45 days, 0% APR for up to 36 months, plus a $500 cash savings. And you can negotiate with the dealer. Like 
That's a good one, man. That's a really good option. And it happens to be a hell of a car and represents a hell of a value. Under $30,000. Yes. The Hyundai Sonata, Dad, coming in at number four, 121 days supply, around that same price point, $31,000, 2.99% APR financing for those who qualify for up to 60 months. And then the Nissan Altima with 119 days supply. There are 18,000 of these for sale, yet only 7,000 have sold in the last 45 days. Sub $30,000 price point with 0% financing up to 36 months and a stackable $1,000 cash savings. Not only will you get a big dealer discount, and for dealer discounts, you can go to CarEdge.com, submit the information, see what your target discount should be, see what other CarEdge community members have paid for these vehicles, and negotiate that, plus get the APR financing and or the, the subvented financing and the $1,000 stackable rebate. Like, that's... That's a good option, man. You have you have 60% of the vehicles listed here that are at a $30,000 or less price point. Let's move on to trucks, Dad. We've got five trucks that if you're thinking about buying a pickup truck between now and the end of the year, are the most negotiable, biggest incentives. The Ram 1500, 166 days supply of inventory, almost 60,000 of them for sale, yet only 16,000 have sold in the last 45 days. 2% of all new Ram pickup trucks for sale nationwide right now are 2023. So those 1,000 that are 2023s out there, those are the ones you can get the biggest dealer discounts on. 0% financing for up to 72 months on the Ram pickup truck and up to $6,500 in a cash incentive as well. So Stellantis is really trying to move those Ram 1500s. Well, when you have that many of them out there and you still have 23s on the lot and you have 24s and 25s, yeah, it's going to take some heavy cash to get those vehicles off the lot. Unsurprising then that the Jeep Gladiator has a 136 day supply, 1100 of the new Jeep Gladiators for sale nationwide, of which there are 16,000, are 2023, 7% of their image inventory of Jeep Gladiators are new 2023. So that is absolutely bonkers. 0% financing for up to 36 months and $3,250 in a cash discount as well, plus huge negotiability at the dealership. The Nissan Titan, Dad, can't be too surprised to see this so far being Jeep, Ram, and Nissan. These brands have a massive oversupply. 132 days supply, 0% financing for up to 60 months and almost $7,000 in cash incentives. The GMC Sierra 1500 has 116 days supply and then the Ford F-150 Lightning has a 73 days supply and you've got some incentives on the Sierra, 0% financing up to 36 months plus $5,000 in cash incentives and on the Lightning, 1.9% financing for 36 months. Big pickup trucks had been selling like hotcakes during the pandemic and everything, the vehicle shortage. Now we've got some really massive incentives on them plus incredible negotiability at the dealership. Uh, it certainly appears that way and it's it appears as if maybe even some of the uh, momentum that these big, big pickup trucks had seems to be fading a, a, a little bit. All right, now let's talk about luxury vehicles for those of you thinking about purchasing a luxury car, truck, or SUV between now and the end of the year. Here are the five that have the most negotiability and biggest and best incentives. First and foremost, the BMW 7 Series. Now, haven't done a promotion yet for caredge.com slash research, but for all these luxury vehicles, go look at our value rankings and our five and 10 year cost of ownership because holy cow, does the 7 Series depreciate, but... <laughs> It has a 230 days supply right now and 2.99% APR financing for 60 months. So a proverbial bargain once you've negotiated it down with the dealer. Yes, either that or wait for it as a used car and you can save another 50% or so. Lincoln Navigator is number two on our list with a 216 days supply. These things sell for over $100,000, but you know it's a little more palatable spread out over 84 months at 2.9% financing. Big negotiability there on the Lincoln Navigators. The Alfa Romeo Giulia, we see the Alfa Romeo Giulia here on this list as well because it is a luxury vehicle. It's also one of those sedans or cars that you should be keeping your eyes out for. And then the Infiniti QX55 and Cadillac XT4. The Infiniti Dad has a 155 days supply and 3.9% financing for 60 months plus a small cash incentive. And the Cadillac has 3.9% financing for 36 months plus a $1,000 cash incentive. Both of those are oversupplied and so represent an opportunity for folks to negotiate and get better discounts. There are deals to be had, whether it be in cars, trucks, SUVs, or the luxury side of things. We have all this data back on caredge.com. We'll link to it down in the description below. And as always, if you wanna get dealers to compete so you can get the best price, Go to caredge.com, put in your vehicle information, and let us help you get that deal. Thank you, as always, Pops. Thank you, Handsome.